All right, so here's the deal. I've got the Olympus EM1 Mark III in my hands with the nine millimeter Leica lens, Lumix Leica lens. And this is a really good package because it's small, it's got good color, it's got autofocus, and the camera has good Im image stabilization. But I was wondering, how important is the image stabilization in this camera for video? Not for, not for photos, for video. When you can do warp stabilizer on something like, let's say, a Sony, do you really need it? So what I'm gonna do is this. We have the nine millimeter, like I said on here, I've got the image stabilization settings turned all the way up on this Olympus. So it's on mode one, which means it's digital plus electronic, and I put it in the most enhanced version it is. I'm gonna take a walk down the street and back, and then I'm gonna do the same thing with my Stony. And in my Sony, I'm gonna warp stabilize it. And then we're gonna talk about it in the back, in the, in the end, and at the end, back of the, at the end of the video, so that we uh, can determine just how important in-body image stabilization is for video and vlogging, walking, talking type stuff. Or if it's just better to use digital stabe and say like DaVinci Resolve, the uh, warp stabilizer. So let's go for a walk, put on some music, and I will leave this the Olympus part of it, uh, not enhanced by DaVinci Resolve. I'll just be in camera as it is. A lot of exposure. There we go. One-handed, held by the bottom, underneath the lens. This is what it looks like. I've maxed out the shutter speed. Go. All right. Just normal walk, kind of a heavy walker. All right. Now let's switch to the Sony. All right. Back on the porch. That was the Olympus. Um, like I said, just the camera as is. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk out with the Sony um, on the Tamron 17 and 28 F2.8. What version is this? DI3, RXD, whatever that means. Um, and I'll walk out with stabilization as is in the camera. Again, the Sony's turned all the way up as well. And then I'll go uh, do warp stabilizer on the way back. All right, here we go. See, by the way, how the auto exposure changes versus the Olympus. I have them both set to aperture priority. Just let the shutter run wild, let the ISO run wild. Let's see how we do. So would this work for a walking, talking headpiece? You know, for vlogging, that kind of stuff? Or is this really shaky? Is it getting warpy on the sides? These wide angle lenses, that tends to happen. All right, so that was without any stabilization done in post. Now, this part, stabilization. windy. Hopefully this sounds okay. The question is, is, is image body stabilization, in body image stabilization that important when you can do it in post? All right, let's, uh, let's look at this and then I'll come back and talk to you guys about it. I just watched the video and the Olympus is phenomenal without any post-production necessary. But the Sony was just as good once you put warp stabilizer on. So the question is, is with the Sony, do you just turn off all the stabilization to prevent the cropping in on the video that you import so that the warp stabilization in post has more to play with versus trying to combine all the things together? Point is, I had the Canon R8. Electronic stabilization is phenomenal for video if you're walking and talking. The Canon does it really well in camera and if you're something like this Sony, just do it in post. It's like, took 10 seconds for this thing to analyze it. It was, it was nothing. So yeah, just want to show you guys this. All right, see you next one, bye.